What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And where are we here? We are looking in a black and white picture at the moon. Of course, this is a satellite picture, so we're up above it now. And we are looking at what I'm calling a mining operation. It looks to be a mining operation on the edge of a pit or something like here. Um, but if you take a good look at these buildings from above, you're going to see, look at this, the shapes in them. Look at this, uh, 90 degrees. This is a, some goes off to like a dome-shaped building here. 90 degrees that way, 90, so that's 180 degrees. Then opposite 90 degrees the other way, which goes straight down to another dome and also goes out here to, it's like a perfect S building. And it's on the perfect shape. Can you guys, I hope you guys can see that. I'm a, of course, it's going to get blurry when I do it just like this, but... Let me do this. Let me take this filter. Let me show. Well, first, let me show you guys what it is and where we got it from. Tell you what it is. All right. This is a lunar orbiter picture, which was great because these are actually photographs. The stuff that comes back now from the moon and from Mars, it's that aren't photographs. I have trouble trusting. You know, it's just. Uh, but this is H2, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, this is H2. So to get it, if you came to this page, you go to H2, and I'm gonna put this link up in the image. So all you gotta do is my description, click it, and it's gone. So. And I'll still be, I mean, I'm going to make, trying to make a couple videos to release next week while I'm out at Firefly, but I'm going to, I'm going to take videos while I'm out there. I always do and put them on the channel. So it won't be Mars next weekend that we're working on or the moon or anything like that. We're going to be doing, uh, having fun at the music festival in Dover, Delaware. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can give it any that helps at all. Let's see, basic. Yeah, that does seem to help a little bit. All right. That pulls it out a little bit. Let's see what happens when this goes through. And look at the intricate shapes in this stuff. And you're going to see a tower over here, the, the buildings. It's just amazing. I mean, what was the moon? You know, what? It, it's got to be filled with stuff. It's got to be filled with minerals in it. Some people say it's hollow. I've heard it's a spaceship that was brought here with people inhabiting it. Same thing about with Mars's moon, Europa, as this smart sharpen happens. Um, so there's so many you know, esoteric things and, and just amazing stories about the moon. But... When you see shapes like this and stuff like this, I don't, I, this can't be nature that built this stuff. I mean, come on, nature doesn't usually do this. I mean, you can go check out all over, uh, all over the world and the earth and you're not going to find stuff like this. This looks like buildings. Um, and just remember, you're seeing this in black and white. We don't really see what the true color of the moon is. The true color of the moon, we are never shown. Um, it's got color to it. Believe me, it's got a lot of color to it too. Um. Uh, there's a lot of pictures out there that, that actually have captured that um, from some good telescopes. But look at the size of this dome right here. See it here? It's of its perfect shape. I hope you guys can see this. I know when it gets this close, it's blurry. But here it is here, and it, it's got the shadow falling. Pretty cool. And that's right in the center of these uh, this building here. And like I said, this is, to me, is a smoking gun right here. And it comes out. And everything seems to move down towards this here. Like I said, I call it the pit. But if you look here, as it, I call these that because as you come around it, you see buildings and stuff. And I've done this in my moon videos before, basically right on up to the buildings. And see the same things here. Look at this, uh, the shape here. That's a perfect E. I mean, we build buildings like this here on our planet. You know what I mean? Perfect shape. There's that S shape again right there in the middle there. Now let's show you the towers and stuff we got here. This is, and see how, on, once again, you get to the to the black part where, you know, this is a photograph. So a lot of this almost looks to have been old school smudged. But see this here? It looked more perfect uh, 90 degree angles, more perfect uh, dome shapes here. And it just winds down and uh, goes all around just a piece. You can see these things coming out. So I think it was some pretty big operations. Now look at this tower right here. And I'm calling it a tower because it sure looks like a tower to me. You know, it might not be. There looks like there's be a little bit of shadow there. It seems to be on a pedestal. And uh, who knows how, if this is how you're supposed to look at it. A lot of these pictures, if you flip them around, you see a lot different. Um, you see it in a different light. But no matter how you look at these lunar orbiter pictures, you're going to find it. Now let me back all the way out and show you how the part of this. All right. This is see we're gonna go in together again. Oh, let's do it slow. And this whole area, and these all all four of these pictures that you just saw before, this whole area has got stuff everywhere. All right, and that's how you get to this piece where you've got over here the tower. You've got your S shape up here that's just too cool. I mean, you, you can't really take that and not see that. Hopefully, you guys see that. People who come and hate on my videos, it's like, come on, 
you don't see that at all. Um, I love to be able to just sit and colorize this whole picture and, and see, show you exactly what's up there because all this stuff, it looks like a huge base. Whatever type of civilization used to be there or is there now, um, who knows what's on the moon, you know? It may not be right for us, but this that stuff actually looks like it's been built into the surface, you know, almost like it's encapsulated. So maybe they don't have to, you know, whatever it was inhabiting that, maybe it was just robots, maybe it didn't need oxygen, wherever it hit, you know, People, I believe beings have evolved all over the galaxy in different situations. And I'm sh pretty sure in my thinking that life is the constant, you know, uh, that's, that's the constant, you know, it's not, you know, dead planets that you're going to be having stuff come, life comes out of anything, you know, you can throw stuff together, you can find life anywhere on earth. Um, and I'm sure that most planets are the same way. Whether we were taught that in school or not. Look at this as we scroll down through this picture. I'm not going to take too long. I just wanted to show you that planet. There's a lot of stuff that I'm going to make some other videos out of this. These old lunar orbiter pictures, they're pretty... The scale of these are... Let's see. Let's see if we can even find some scale on here. Um, altitude. Longitude. Latitude. Oh, wow. They've got the raw TIFF, too. We're looking at a JPEG, so these get even better. Oh, I thought I had the... The, I thought I even had the better one. I don't think I did. Save link as. Let's see. That took you right to it. So maybe I did. No, let's see. Raw TIFF. Moon saved it. I guess I did have that one. <laughs> guess I was wrong. But uh, all over this picture's got stuff to look for. So you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna. Like I said, I'm gonna link up. We didn't go. That's what I was looking for. Some scale. Hold on. Let's see if I can give you anything at all. Phase angle, missions angle, alpha, sud azimuth, incident angle, longitude, latitude. No, not much I can do with that. This is lunar orbiter 5, so this is one of the better ones. That's why I think you're looking at such a crystal clear picture. Um, and that's why I said I love the picture. It's a, it was done on film. You know, it's what we're looking for. You know, we're not looking for something that the computer's already enhanced. And everywhere you go on these pictures, and, and not everywhere on the moon, just certain spots, which makes me think that mining, you know, because the whole moon, to what we know of it, isn't more, you know, doesn't have, one side's not hotter, one side, it's not, it's not that different to where, what would be looking for up there? I'd say we'd be looking for minerals, you know, stuff like that. Somebody from another galaxy, if they came here and settled up there. Now, what do you guys think? I haven't done the moon one in a while. It's, you know, it's the closest thing to us. What do you guys think is going on up there? I've been thinking, I've been wondering since I was a kid what's on the moon. So, all right, guys, I'm going to leave you with that one. Like I said, that was the uh, tower and the moon mining operation going on. And it's surely going on. I mean, it's been going on. If you look through my uh, my old videos on the moon, I've got a bunch of them up here. And there's a lot of good people out there doing them that, uh, I mean, it, to me, it's just obvious. You know, it's getting to be, see, I mean, you pull right into there. And you can just see the facility. It's right there. I mean, you just can't deny it. That looks like a facility. The whole place does. You can pull up on Earth, Google Earth, and find places similar to it. So, much love, guys. Take it easy. What's up in the sky? 37. I will be back uh, leaving for Firefly on Wednesday night. So, I'll be back Tuesday with some videos, hopefully. I'll probably be exhausted. Won't be able to talk like last time, if you remember this last year. But... All sorts of good bands coming. I mean, real outcasts, Foo Fighters, all sorts of good stuff. So pumped up, guys. Much love to you all. Hope you had a good weekend. It's uh, Sunday now. Peace. Hope you're having a good Father's Day. My father passed away. He used to love these pictures. Uh, at first, he didn't believe me on most of this stuff, but then he, I think he finally came around. So uh, much love to you, Dad. I miss you, buddy. Take it easy. You guys have a good one.